How's it going everyone? This is Tom with RedmanPie.com. It is finally here, iOS 7 is out, and I'm going to be showing you how to install it right now on your device. There are a few different ways of doing this, so uh, you may want to kind of skip ahead to certain parts of the video. First one we're going to cover is over the air. Now what you're going to want to do is get your device, the one you're updating. This is an iPhone 5 and it is actually jailbroken, so I'm not going to be actually upgrading this to iOS 7. Uh, however, what you do is just go into the settings application on your device. Uh, this is the over the air update as I just mentioned, you go down to general and then you go to uh, software update and you'll see if you're not on iOS 7 uh, and your device is compatible, there'll be a list of compatible devices in the description, you will get uh, an iOS 7 kind of little pop up uh, when you go onto this page. Apple servers are actually bombing right now, uh, you can't access anything on them, but when they're fixed you will just see a little pop up, it's pretty much just a one touch install, so I don't really think I need to go through the uh, actual process of the over the air update, it's pretty self explanatory. Okay, so now we're going to be covering a tethered update. So what you want to do is uh, plug in your iDevice, so this could be an iPad, an iPod Touch, uh, or an iPhone, into your computer via a USB cable. Make sure you've got the latest version of iTunes, you can just download that from Apple. Uh, let's just check what the actual version number is. It's 11.1, make sure you're on that, otherwise you won't be able to actually uh, download and restore. Basically what you're going to want to do is back up to this computer. Uh, that's kind of make makes sure that you won't lose absolutely anything uh, within this process. So iCloud can be a little bit flaky. It's great for uh, ongoing backups, but f when you want to uh, restore or update your software, you want to be backing up to this computer and just click backup now. Uh, so as you can see, iTunes will just um, back up your device, everything that's on it, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so once that's done, you can go about this uh, a few different ways. We're going to have a post on Redmond Pi where you can actually download your IPSW for your specific device. So you can do that. That's what I've done here. So as you can see, I've got the file. Uh, and I'm only I'm actually running iOS 7 already, so I'm going to be restoring. Uh, but normally, you'll want to check for update. So if you haven't got your IPSW, you can literally just click check for update. But Apple servers are a bit uh, hammered right now, as I mentioned earlier in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, hold alt on my Mac. Uh, you'll do this on the check for update button if you've got your IPSW, but as I said, I'm restoring, so I'm just going to go on restore iPod, hold alt, and as you can see, this will bring up a viewer. Uh, I'm just going to navigate to my desktop, select the IPSW, and click open. And after that, you'll get this little pop-up. Just click restore, and then it will uh, kind of go through this entire process. I've already got the file, so it shouldn't be interrupted by the server issues that Apple are having at the moment. Uh, you might want to allow a little bit of time for this. Uh, let's just go ahead and click apply on there. And um, yes, it's a it's a pretty simple process. You shouldn't need to uh, stay around with it or anything. You could probably just walk off uh, for 15, 20 minutes while it actually does its thing. And I'll be back uh, after you've just done that. You may need to tap on your phone a couple of times, but after that, it's a very simple process and you should be well on your way to be getting iOS 7 on your device. Just make sure you don't unplug any of your uh, cables or anything like that. I'm going to speed through this process uh, and be back once my iPod is powered up. I guess once you've done this, you should get a kind of a completion screen. It's just the end of your, uh, the end. You won't have any more processes going on and you will have your device disconnected from iTunes. And then the rest of the process just continues on your device. So as I'm sure you can see here, my iPod is now at the kind of welcome screen for iOS 7, but this is uh, because I restored my device. If you didn't restore it and you just updated, you'll just see your screen, your unlock screen, and nothing should have changed, which is always a good sign. That's pretty much all you need to know, to be honest. It's a very simple upgrade. Apple make their upgrades very simple, uh, and that's what's good about them, to be honest. They're generally a one-touch install. Over the air, it's pretty much one touch, and also on the computer, it's a very simple upgrade. Hopefully, you'll find more information in the links down below. Follow Redmond Pie and all of the social places those are down below as well if you have found this one useful please give it a like and we will see you next time